What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode three of Clueless Dad Opens Pokemon. Um, this has been kind of a popular series on the channel. Started about a month ago where my oldest son told me to, uh, hey, you should open up one of these UPCs. And uh, I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I have no idea about Pokemon. He's like, yeah, that'd be funny. So I opened it up. I had no idea what I was like. I don't know Pokemon. I know sports. Don't know Pokemon. And uh, so far, over 1,100 people have watched that video, which is a lot for this channel, given how small we are. But uh, a lot of people liked it, and it brought in a lot of Pokemon fans that kind of uh, out of nowhere. So um, we did another one for the Celebrations ETB. And, um, I keep seeing in the comments, people want me to do more of this, so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing what people are asking. So, this time a little different, um, we got lucky and, uh, hit a Walmart restock this morning, and, um, I texted my son and be like, hey, which one of these should I pick up? And there was a couple different options, I don't honestly remember them, there was Celebration Tins, there was another ETB, and he was like, hey, well, pick the Shining Fates, that's cool, and you haven't opened that. So I'm like, okay. So here we are, the Shining Fates Collection Pikachu 5, V, or whatever. Um, so this one, I honestly haven't even looked at the box, so looks like, uh, it wasn't that much, I think it was like 20 bucks, maybe less. So we're only getting, oh, we're only getting four packs. Okay, this will be a quick video then. Four packs, oversized card, promo card, and then the code that I'm not supposed to show. Um, and so the way this works is, yeah, I don't know anything about Pokemon, so, you know, I'm here to learn too. Um, you can tell me what I might be missing. My, my kids give me my Pokemon sleeves, and my job is to sleeve up all the cards that I think are the best ones. And then this is like my homework, and then they'll check make sure all the sleeves cards are the right ones and if not they'll tell me where i messed up either by sleeving a card that shouldn't have been or worse not sleeving a card that should have been so you can play along too in the comments tell me what i'm missing i'm learning about the ultra rares and the art variations and the semi hollow full hollow all that stuff I'm, I'm i'm starting to figure some of it out but it's still very alien to me and then probably the most challenging part was i was told to not ruin the box so they could use it on the display. And, uh, okay, there's no tape up here. Oh, there we go. Right here. Oh boy, no pressure. Oh God. Is that? I really try not to rip this. Welcome to Patton, Oregon Sports Cards. We can't even open the box. Um, shoot, I thought there'd be some tape there. This is already off to a hilarious start. Let's see. Up here? Oh, there's no tape. Is it glued? Oh, boy. Uh, I think I'm going to butcher this one. Unbelievable. All right, we're going in from the side. Here we go. I don't know what the right way to open these up it's without ruining it. This looks good to me. There we go. All right. That'll do. This is where I would put that, you know, 10 minutes later. But I don't like to edit my videos because it takes too much time. And it's already late. So I just record and publish. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everything's sliding out of here. All right, I've seen these before. I think my my kids have opened up Shining Face before, but I never have. So we got our giant Pikachu card, which hopefully they make sleeves for that. Then we've got our tiny one, which is, are you serious? Is it another layer of plastic in there? Oh my gosh. Wow, that's some serious packaging. Okay, there we go. It. Okay. I, I will admit, I mean, granted, I started with the Celebrations UPC. I've been impressed with the packaging of uh, 
Pokemon products. I mean, it's really well done. All about the presentation, they take care and putting all this together. So I do give them kudos for that. It's not something we in the sports card world are used to unless you're dealing with some ultra high-end stuff where you get like a briefcase or something crazy. All right, there we go. I think, there we go. I got the box in okay shape. All right. Um, also, before I rip these, I guess just these four packs, um, also, I will be putting a link to the video from last week, which is the 100 subscriber celebration and giveaway video. So um, we are giving away five different prizes there. Four of them are sports related, but one of them is a Pokemon Celebrations tin. So I'm not gonna go into all the instructions here, but go check out that video. About three or four times during the video, I'm explaining what you gotta do. So go ahead and follow those instructions and then we'll be redoing a, we'll be picking five winners um, right around Christmas time. I'm not sure exactly what date, but you'll see it on the channel. It'll be probably like the 23rd or Christmas Eve or something like that. So, um, and you got five chances to win and you know, five out of, uh, right now is 130 subs. So it's pretty good odds. Um, so, uh, yeah, check out that video in the link below. Um, okay. So these are all shining fates, 10 cards each. I mean, got the Charizard. We'll do him last. I don't know who this dude is. And this eagle guy, there's two of him, so maybe he's not as rare. So we'll do it this way, I guess. Not that it matters. Or maybe it does. Tell me, I don't know. Um, okay. I do know about the whole Pokemon card shuffle thing. Okay, so we got these codes again, which I'm not supposed to show. Okay, and we got what? One, two, three, four? Yep, okay. All right, see, I got this part down. I learned this one already. All right, energy card. Cramorant. A rusted shield. A Dartrix. Gossy Fleur. A Snom. Be like a homeless Pokemon sleeping on the bench. It's sad. Coughing. I remember those guys from Pokemon Go. Cat. Cacnea? Oh, cactus. Acne? <laughs> I don't know. Gossage Fleur. Wait. Why was it? We got the same... You got the same card twice in the same pack? Is that a normal thing? That's a bummer. That's kind of cool. A little... What is that? A semi... Hollow? I'm going to sleeve that one. And that one looks cool, too. All right. I mean, out of that pack, I would sleeve these two. I don't know if these are worthy or not, but better safe than sorry. Better to have too many cards sleeved than not enough, as that should have been. And I will say again that these sleeves for Pokemon cards are way harder to get cards in, in my opinion, than penny sleeves. I get that the cards are rounded edges, but still, it's a little stressful. Okay, here's our base. Here's our, my good pile, I guess. Um, one thing that was cool about that UPC for the celebration, I did pull that secret rare Mew, which, I mean, you'd have to be blind to not know that that card was good. And I mean, it was a completely different color. It was gold, so. That was an easy one to pick out, but apparently I missed some of the... Oh, what, like some original reprints or something like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Energy. A Team Yell Towel. Okay. Thwacky. Gym Trainer. More Peko. Choodle? Okay, this is crazy. I haven't seen any of these guys. A Nick It? Nick It? A Grookey? Did we get another one of these? No. Okay. A Yanma. That's cool looking. Uh, a Ye 
Yuvaltal. Amazing destruction. All right. And a Yan Mega, which that time this was the last card wasn't special. Okay. The middle one looks cool though. Is that that the same as this one? Looks cooler than the other two, I guess. I know some of you are like dying watching me open these and not know what the heck I'm looking at, but that's what makes it fun. And, uh, you know, I like that some of the Pokemon folks that have joined the channel and, and interact have also said they don't have an idea what we're looking at when we open up Chronicle Blasters or, uh, you know, Absolute Fat Packs for football. So, and again, there's too much in this hobby to try to be aware of everything. I know some of you are. Some of you guys are like pros at the whole thing. And again, for me, for those that don't know, I haven't been in the hobby for 30 years, so I kind of came out of, uh, came out of, uh, Frozen Ice, like Steve Rogers. Um, oh my goodness, can't open the pack either, there we go. Um, so, there's a lot to learn, and that's one of the reasons I started this channel. I learned a lot by watching folks on YouTube, and, uh, so this is my way of maybe giving back a little bit. And uh, letting folks know what's out there, retail, what's out there. I do open a lot of hobby. But, you know, for me, this has been kind of fun now. I'm learning about Pokemon. My kids are teaching me about it. You guys are teaching me about it. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you're a Pokemon guy, go watch, or gal, go watch uh, some of the sports cards and see if you learn a couple things there, too. So, works both ways. Tropius wrote, wrote him. Another Cramorant, a Yanma, more Peko, a Chew. This looks familiar. This is an Eevee. I know what Eevees are. Did a lot of those with Pokemon Go. A Horsey. This one, oh, I forget. What is it called when they have all this stuff here? I know that's better. There's a, Rilla, a Rillaboom. So help me out. The last card, I mean, I get why you guys do the shuffle, so you end up with the two hits at the end, but how often do you not get one at the last card? Like, in the last pack, we didn't get anything good there. You know, like, okay, it's kind of comparing it to sports cards. Like, if you get a hanger, a hanger pack of, like, Topps Baseball, you're going to get 57 cards in there, but really, the only things you care about are, the, like, six in the middle, which is where all the good stuff is. So... We do the same thing in sports cards. We'll shuffle them out so that you end up finishing on the middle part. So, which is, I, that's exactly what we're doing here with the seven cards or ten cards in here, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate these packs. These sleeves are so annoying. Um, so yeah, I guess like, what's the technical term for like the position or something? I don't know. Like, Rillaboom was the last card. Well, after you do the shuffle, he's the last card. But the Rotom... Rotom? Rotom? This one looks nicer. So, this one is always... The second to last card seems to be the one that always has something. Anyways, just an observation. Again, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I've never opened these before. Um, but I'm just trying to compare it to like what I'm used to. All right, last pack, and we'll get out of here. Uh, I feel like we spent five minutes trying to open a box and open up packs in ten minutes, actually, talking about it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What the heck? <laughs> okay, hell with it. Man, that's embarrassing. Or maybe it's not just me. <laughs> wow. All right. One, two, three, four. Energy. A ball guy. All right. Ball guy. Floatzel. Another Team Yell Towel. More Pico. Coughing. 
Last time we had a coughing, and we had like one of the, the little horsey guys, right? Oh no, there's that cacnea again. So this looks like the similar collation. Glossy fur, glossy fleur. Another cacnea. Okay, again, is this something that's normal? Like two cards the same within three cards of each other? Like that can be annoying if you end up having a lot of commons like that. Okay, here's the one of the here's a thwacky, which is again that I forget what this is called. I'm I'll find out tomorrow from my somebody tells me. And then what do we got here? Professor Research. So again, the last card wasn't a hollow or anything, but these guys always are. So I'm not going to sleeve this one, but I will sleeve this one. So if it's the second to last card, it looks like you always sleeve that one, or that's always at least like your minimal good card. And then your last card, you kind of 50-50 it. Maybe you get a good card, maybe you get a hit, maybe you just get a base. That's what it feels like, at least just from this small sample size. So, Thwacky didn't have a last card good one. Rotom did, with Rillabalm. So, I mean, yeah, I guess these are the cards I'm calling good. Thwacky with the full whatever the heck that's called, I forget. Same thing with Rotom here. The Rillabomb has a cool, like, lenticular look there. This was probably my favorite, this Evoltal. Actually, the Evoltal and the Reshiram. Those are, those are kind of cool. And then this Thievel. Thievel? Anyways, that's what I'm calling my good cards. My six good cards out of four packs. We'll see how well. Let me know in the comments how well I did. Did I get the right ones? Is there anything in here that I should have, like, totally gotten, but because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I don't know. These all look, none of these are shiny, so I'm just going off shiny was good. All right, well, there we go. That completes episode three of the Clueless Dad Pokemon series. There will be plenty more, I promise. And, um, again, um, I'll put a link to the video, um... To the 100 sub celebration and giveaway follow the instructions on there you still got a week's worth of time um that should close out around the 22nd of december and uh you got five chances to win follow the instructions do what you need to do on there and you'll be entered in and good luck to y'all and again thanks for everybody for the support go ahead and give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that as well and go check out that video and get into the into the uh, giveaway We'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.